Live from Los Angeles, here's Every Way Woman. We're back at Every Way Woman for one of our favorite discussions, the Two Minute Blast. And ladies, um, we're going to talk about husbands and wives maybe having threesomes. That's your husband trying to tell you he's gay. <laughs> it's going to be a twosome without it you. Make a difference I know that the threesome involves another man or another woman. Somebody's going to get left. Somebody's and it's going to be, be a gay. twosome. So you're yeah. saying it's not such a good yeah, idea? Somebody's going to get left. So, I think we can all be in agreement with this. You know, you can have your fantasies and you can want that, but you introduce someone else in, you're checking out of that relationship. Yeah, it, it seems like maybe you're at the end of the road, but I know. Or maybe it's, you need to bring in some toys or some pills or well, something. Well, yeah, there's other ways <laughs> to have fun <laughs> than bringing someone else no, in. No, because I mean, if you make a, like a committed marriage commitment to sure. somebody, that's a two person thing. You can't right. just start bringing in other people because if that's the case, if you just want to have sex with all these people, you shouldn't be married. You should you know, not make a commitment to so, somebody. So an unconditional and spend marriage. spend all your is, time at the free mm, clinic. Mm, <laughs> and, not get and, and what if the woman's like, all right, well, let's bring another man into this. Well, I of know, course you're going to have to have some discussion, gay. I would think. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so. Your husband may feel like that. And where do you that. find the, the third person, whether it's a female or a male? I mean, Craigslist. how do you... <laughs> yeah, I think that's easy enough to find. To, but, but, I mean, are there willing people to go into a marriage, single people going into a marriage? or Because I know there's, like, a couple... Yeah, there are, but they're not like the people in the movies. They're very scary looking people. And they well, all have, have you tried this other. or what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It would have gone better, but the people were scary. We like our, our people who But I mean, no, that is kind of creepy because it, it could be dangerous. What if you bring somebody into your home and, and they may rob you or, or kill you? I mean, you yeah. never know who you're bringing or into an intimate friend. situation. And as a friend, are you going to lose that friendship? Well, also, it doesn't work especially out. you have to think if you have children. Because, you know, not to put a damper on things, but look at the Westerfield trial. You know, that was a family of swingers. They weren't paying any attention. He got mad because he couldn't get involved and, you know, killed that little girl. So you attract yeah. some very, very scary people with those kind of. Mm -hmm. So it has, you have to think if you're single, if your kids are grown, you can't be trying to bring in people with little kids, right. if you have little kids yeah. there. Or yeah. like watch that movie Twa, because that was kind of like a threesome gone wrong. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> Oh, yeah. You know, things can really go wrong because I think, you know, a lot of times people may start developing feelings right. for somebody and then sure. what do you emotions. do? Yep. Sure. Yeah. Well, thanks ladies and I guess we kind of are all on similar page there. <laughs> well, stay with us because we're coming back with Christina and our unscripted entertainment.